Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well and I want to thank you for stopping by one and all. My name is Donna, this is Irish Donna Tarot. Go to the sea, this is a new love reading for Gemini. A new love can be an old love returning or rekindling, so however it resonates with you, that's what you look at. This is like a buffet table, take what's yours and leave the rest. Between two worlds, so Gemini, you're on some sort of journey, and it's to the sea, so it's an emotional journey. Right now, you're feeling very alone and a bit isolated, but you seem to instinctively understand that you're coming out of a long period, almost of like a an emotional dormancy period with this sort of gray skies, like winter. It looks like winter into spring. So you're at this beautiful point in your life where you're going through a lot of transformational energy and love, really finding your happiness and your joy. We have higher power. There you are. Very spiritually attuned to what's going on around you. I would recommend you watch the lunar eclipse video if you haven't seen it. Even if it's, you know, it is Saturday. But I would highly recommend you look at it. Um, it gives a lot of information that would be helpful to you in the days following the eclipse also. We have the energy. I love it. We have the Three of Cups energy. A friend may become a lover. You may be going off. When I see these girls, the Three of Cups is usually three women dancing. So it also says that you could meet someone of significance at a dance class. And um, it's quite lovely. Look at starry nights, a uh, deep feeling of happiness and joy, just for the sake of being happy. Okay, what else do we have here for Gemini? We have the moon card. Many of you are doing a very deep exploration. You've gone within. You're usually, you're using your psychic energy, that's Piscean energy. Um, you're feeling underwater. Many of you may be feeling physically a little underwater. And I think that there's an exhaustion level. And I'm making this two days before the eclipse to publish on Saturday. What I'm seeing for you is that you may be feeling like, again, you need extra rest. But very replenished by friends and the joyfulness of what's going on in your life three we have Aries energy here you may be attracting an Aries somebody who's adventurous who's joyful someone who likes to do unusual things you know this is a person who you'd say well let's go to Hawaii there's airfare on sale and this person would be yes baby let's go so very much action oriented very much a romantic and a physical sense and what I mean by that is they may not wane nostalgic and look deep into your eyes every moment but they would love love to share the adventure and the joy of maybe going to Hawaii, taking, uh, you know, surfing lessons, somebody who is all about the experiential romance, the tiki torches, starry nights, the water exploration, very sort of almost Jacques Cousteau in the emotional realm of relationship. The energy that you have, many of you have had um, and are having right now, is just letting go of burdens. You know, you're not going to take on anybody's baggage right now. We see you in this energy of wanting to live lighter and leaner and in a more meaningful and deeper way with a lot more excitement in it. Um, really, and, and you do are sh you are showing a great deal of gratitude for the friends that you have, which of course this creates abundance. Everything I'm seeing is helping you create a deep abundance to make this transition through spiritual means. We get the Two of Swords card. So right now, there is something that's sort of haunting you or bothering you or picking at you. I would really say that, Gemini, you may be around somebody and you could have had a lover. Something is, it's a little bit haunting. It's like, oh my God, if I hear that said one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. And so, again, I feel like this is a metamorphosis of you just aligning yourself with people who are not troublesome around you and i and i don't mean bad people that's not what i'm trying to say nobody's i don't you know you're too strong actually to allow yourself to be inundated with that but what i get here is that you have had perhaps some friendships in the recent past uh, a con you know some sort of recognition that 
you are not really all on board with a lot of different people. Gemini is very friendly, but you have very specific needs. You like a high level of communication. However, you also get really, you know, you are you get into almost like an empath. An empath can't take too much overstimulation, and Geminis are stimulated by life a lot. You guys are stimulating, but you all look at this energy. So as you go through this period of transformation, okay, I would actually align these cards with these rows. Um, as you go through this period of transformation and come out the other side, you attract somebody who's very reliable, very stable, very passionate, somebody who wants to build a future, somebody who would take you nice places, buy you nice gifts. But that's the core of the Taurus energy is that this person shares your values, very meaningful. You know, we have a dog here. This is a person who would be very devoted to family, to loved ones, to friends, um, to having fulfilling work, to living in an abundant way, somebody who would work with the laws of attraction to create something special in their life, but also bring that into your relationship um, as a, you know, a big plus. What else do we have here for Gemini? Okay, somebody who could be a Virgo, somebody who moves towards you slowly and steadily. You know, for a lot of Geminis, oddly enough, if you have the right earth sign, they can it can be a very good experience for you, depending on the two charts mingled. Two of coins, all right. <laughs> I love the cards. I just love the story. You're going to juggle probably a Virgo and a Taurus. And, you know, when we look at Taurus, it's all about wealth and abundance and, you know, everything you value. Virgo, though, is going to offer you something a little bit different. Virgo, to me, would be more the energy of this sort of doing things. Virgos are doers. They are builders, craftsmen, artists. They um, are really much and very much enjoy the the process of creativity so it's going to be interesting to see how the clarifiers unfold here i do want to look at the in energy at the bottom of the deck nine of cups great oh my gosh nine of cups eat drink be merry enjoy life to the fullest eight of coins well gemini you're always learning and perfecting a craft of some sort and you find that really a happy place for you and look at that legacy marriage energy this is Virgo energy. It's being willing to do the work. That's Virgo energy, the Eight of Coins. So it's quite interesting. I, it couldn't be a nicer reading so far because I, I love this transformation. You know, letting go of people who are just too burdensome for you. Um, for some of you, you feel like dating can suck your energy dry uh, if it's the wrong people, the wrong persons. But let's jump in here. I like this transformation. It's so good to just let go of the past and move forward. Okay, so the Three of Swords is clarifying the Three of Cups. So we do have a situation. We go the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords. You actually may be finding yourself having a difficult time with a friend, somebody that you love very much. Now, I would say that we have the Spirit of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles here. So the energy is that for some of you, you may have dated in the past. Um, you may have dated a King of Pentacles or someone earthbound or, you know, with an earth sign that may have put you in a third party situation. If you're in that energy right now, I'm getting that you want to break out of it. The Fool card is just saying, hey, I'm not going to stay stuck. I'm not going to stay underwater. I'm going to enjoy myself and throw caution to the winds, take the leap of faith. And here you are, the Empress. You are manifesting Empress energy. There's a lot of wisdom in this reading is what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. Tons of wisdom. With Tiki Torch's Starry Night's End, oh, a victorious opportunity to have a relationship that resonates, something that comes out of the blue that's very passionate, that knocks down your expectations. When we look at that Tower card, it's a foundation of your life. And what I'm seeing is that you're now looking at your life in a transformative way that many of you, and I'm going to tell you what I see here, have hung on to the status quo. And that can be jobs and people. And that's a good thing. I mean, fours are stability. But what I'm seeing here is you need more excitement. 
you need to have something that really lights your fire. Baby, won't you let my fire? Okay, and but that chariot card is a hard won victory and moving very quickly towards it. I feel like somebody who really loves you, who wants you, somebody who's close to you, maybe somebody you worked with, is coming in with an awfully lot of energy and it comes as a surprise. That's what I'm seeing. It comes as kind of a total shock. You know, it's like when that friend steps forward and says, well, I've been in love with you for three years now the two of coins you're very much not going to jump in too quickly the tower card set you know the tower can be the epiphany that's beautiful that helps you make great change and it comes very suddenly and that's how I'm reading this so what I see you doing is just sitting on that energy being very um, grounded with it, with the Two of Pentacles, keeping your options open, and knowing that you don't have to make a decision until you feel very balanced. That is a card of marriage. It's the seventh house of uh, Libra, Libra energy. So it speaks to the fact that you want a serious relationship. And it shows the devil card. You want to become balanced and you want to get away from someone who brought devil energy into your life and caused havoc. But you're going to take that tower and you're going to make it the enlightening moment for you is how I'm reading this. Nine of swords. Well, there you are, Gemini, and you're reading. You know, you have a tendency to get all in your head. Tell us one more thing about how you're going to get to Tiki Torches. Oh, <laughs> All right this is fair enough it's going to shock some people you know gemini tends to always answer the phone right um and what i'm seeing for you is we have there's almost a mini reading within a reading here we have the three of wands twice here the three of wands twice is that you've already chosen now you haven't chosen your person yet because your person uh is in this two of coins energy with you but you are holding on to your dream with the four of coins and the epiphany and whatever happened in the past with a third party situation um is helping you catapult you know the tower is very action oriented it's helping you to sort of get out of your head sort of sneak away i feel as though for many of you you're just not going you're going to just disappear into the sunset um away from negativity and that's how you find your sunshine but you're moving very rapidly and very successfully towards the balanced relationship you want with a commitment with someone so you have the three of wands twice that your ship has arrived in the harbor so that aries energy gives you an action packed sort of energy that's going to be important to your your happiness and your joyfulness and feelings of success and love we have the ten of wands here what does that represent to our aries friends i mean excuse me our gemini friends so you may well this was aries energy so that's why i said it we have you in the energy of you want happily ever after you have fire in your belly you are absolutely willing to work for it but you're not going to allow anybody to create burdens undue burdens in your life you're not going to stay in a situation where you feel it's just tedious. You're not going to do it. You're certainly not going to, uh, I feel, with a new love situation, put yourself in a, a compromising situation, a third-party situation. Why is the Three of Swords here, the lover's card? Okay, I don't read reversals on new love. It's just... Uh, I, it's just sort of too chaotic to do that Excuse, that's my opinion but um i get the lover's card what we have here is we have you finding a soulmate soulmate energy of it could be a fellow gemini but it is a, the energy of making a choice and to make a choice who might with someone who might be very different from yourself but cupid's arrow is going to you know I, I don't want to say pierce your heart, but it's going to uh, really give a lot of passion and bring a lot of flair and energy to your life after a time of turmoil. For some of you, you thought a soulmate was going to be worth the, the situation. And I, I'm getting, again, this is a row of great change for you. You don't want any player energy. You're just not going to deal with anybody who plays games, mind games or who is sneaky well i am reading reversals i guess 
as it turns out. <laughs> um, but you are really not wanting anybody who displays that activity or energy towards you. You're just going to sidestep them. You're going to walk away. Intuitively, you know exactly what you're doing. You're going to your happy place that Ten of Swords is going to a whole new beginning with this transformation. Nine of Swords, you're a little bit worried and up in your head. Um, why are you so up in your head, Gemini? That is your card. Well, you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay, so Gemini, here's what I see. I feel many of you are have your you've had your confidence shaken because Gemini. You know, you're part magician. You and Virgo are part magician, but you're the one in the magician card who intuits what the truth is. And what has shaken you up is that somebody came into your life and really sort of, it appears that they convinced you that they were something that they were not. And they you stepped into a really sort of sticky wicket, you know, quicksand, emotional quicksand. And you're, you're questioning how that happened. Like, that hasn't happened to me since I was 20 years old. And, you know, and you, you definitely, you know that the reason you didn't see it is because you were very deep in your emotions. Why do we have the King of Pentacles energy here? The Seven of Coins. This will be one of your options, okay? Very good energy in terms of you know, being a, a good choice for you. When we look at the Seven of Cups, you know, we always say, oh, the person's keeping their options open, but those options are not good. There's only one right choice. The meaning of the Seven of Cups is there is only one right choice. And, you know, the other, underneath the other cups are gonna be very undesirable things unless you really, really like, what is that? I can't see, it's a coral snake, looks like a coral snake. But this person's sort of oblivious. They don't even see what's going on around them. So what we're seeing here is that you're a little bit almost afraid of having too many choices. I think for many of you, being on a dating website would would really feel like it's not the thing to do. That you'd be more grounded, that you'd be more tempted to like take a class or be, you know, I had a girlfriend who met her beloved at a sailing class because they both love sailing. You know, I know people, a lot of people who go take dance classes and meet a very compatible partner. But here's what we have. So there is a, it looks like a king of pentacles in your life or someone like that who wants to come back we get the Tower card. Interesting, we've gotten the Tower card twice. The Ace of Wands, they want a passionate new beginning. You're not sold on this person, though. The trust looks like, you know, you feel as though you're at a crossroads and that you need to make sure you make the right person, uh, make the right decision. You are checking out social media very carefully. You could be going on Truthfinder, you know, doing a little bit of background checking. But let's tell us more about the King of Pentacles. There we go. That is a good person for you. So it does look like you can trust your intuition with this person. It does look like, you know, the ghost of Christmas past, Charles Dickens, <laughs> reference point, uh, should not haunt you now. You know, don't let the, ha the past haunt you. Just because you made one mistake with somebody who ended up being dishonest. Look at that, you're, you're, you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're coming in with this great Virgo energy. I think for many of you, a very sort of spiritual artistic Virgo might be at least an option for you right now. We get the Temperance card. Somebody who's very balanced, who's very much, somebody who doesn't want to control you, okay? The energy of balance, of happiness, of joy. This person has their life buttoned down. They know what they're doing every day. Pisces energy. You know, this person looks a little less attractive than the King of Pentacles. But intuitively, if this person is more spiritually attuned to you, that's, the, that's a decision that I see you making. You know, Gemini doesn't need somebody to provide for them in most instances. And, you know, and if you do, it is what it is, and that's okay. You know, we all live different lives. A lot of times if we have children or whatever, you know, that, that takes precedence over career. We get right now that somebody's going to come back and uh, apologize to you. It may be a Scorpio. It is somebody from your past, and so you're going to be called upon to make a decision as to whether you're going to let that person in. The Wheel of Fortune does sort of bail you out of an awkward situation right now. We're seeing that chances are you're not going to allow anybody who is in the energy 
you know, of owing you an apology really back in. So there's two storylines going here. You know, there's some really good opportunities coming up, especially if you go out and dance or, you know, go go do something physically oriented um, to meet other people of the same interest. You're very calm, cool, and collected. You love very deeply, Gemini. You're going to let people compete for you, and you're just not going to make a choice right, right away. We get the Four of Swords. You're still healing from somebody or something in the past. And, ooh, the Empress card. You've had the Empress twice is a clarifier so the empress card is all about it's taurus energy and it's all about you know giving birth to that which you desire manifesting venus this is the energy of beauty and love and everything that's good everything that you value it's uh, the ability to um, be you know to manifest for yourself so I do feel as though new love is coming in, and you're not going to rush it. I would say that you're going to take your time. It looks like two or three months to really determine who's going to make the final cut for the final two people to date. Um, but that's what I have for you, Gemini. I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I would love it if you'd leave a comment below. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching this video from around the world. Sending you love from Chicago. Hope to see you soon in another video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.